Good day everyone. In this video, I just want to make it uh, very clear what this channel Double Des is about. And let's just go back to the root cause of the start of this channel and uh, explain that everything in this channel revolves around freedom or the perception of freedom or what we can do to be more free. And there's various uh, playlist series that you can find in the playlist section that I've put together for you to choose uh, what you want to view, what you might be interested in. And I will really recommend that you watch the Question Everything series as well as the Moments in Time series. And then I will be making a lot more videos in the Freedom Initiative series. And uh, this these these various sections that i have on the channel are for there for a specific reason i also have in the news which is me looking at articles relating to your freedom in other words if i cover a news article in some way shape or form it revolves around your right to be free and how much freedom you can exercise in your life and it'll be directly affecting something that'll affect your freedom, either currently or in the future. Um, and I want you to understand that I am not going to get focused on nitty gritty things that are distractions to our pursuit of freedom. Now, a lot of people might say that you can never be fully free. And, uh, you know, it, it doesn't mean that you should stop trying to become as free as possible and there's many ways of doing that and looking at the worldwide situation that we find ourselves in for those of you that have followed the channel from the beginning you will be on board and those that have attended my double days meetings across the country you will be on board the people that are new to the channel um, i know it's overwhelming there's a lot of information to to catch up on and you might be coming in fresh uh, having your own perspective and not understand my perspective and you are free then to either pursue trying to understand my perspective or you are free to pursue your own perspective um, because I believe in freedom and uh, the, the liberty to make choices first that should come first in your life and after that anything else comes this double this platform that I created is my platform that I created and what this platform has done is uh, brought has brought a community of people together that has become uh, the face of the information that I share and the people um, in that community have gone and done their own research in other words they might not agree with everything that I say and that's perfectly fine like I say I believe in individual liberty first but they all want freedom and at the end of the day, even if we don't like each other, even if we don't agree with each other on many things, if we can agree on a few things and work together, we can assure ourselves to be as free as possible. And currently in the system, the governance system we find ourselves in, the world economic system we find ourselves in, we are subjects instead of citizens, especially in our country, Tonight I'll be doing a presentation at 7 o'clock, uh, exiting the techno trap, which will talk about many things related to that last week I did exiting the money trap. And the members on this channel, uh, you can view those videos tonight after I've done the presentation. I will upload that presentation to the member section or playlist and then you can go and view the videos there. So if you become a member on this channel, you'll be able to watch all the past uh, members videos and catch up on them and then watch the future videos. And tomorrow night at 8 o'clock, we'll be having a members live chat again. <clears throat> but I want to focus on the fact that this channel is about freedom. I started this channel because of a worldwide lockdown that happened. Uh, this happened around the world. Many people were influenced by it. And we have to discuss how much freedom people are willing to relinquish to get a certain end objective and do we understand the objective and do we believe that the means that it 
meets the ends. In other words, is it okay to do the things that we're doing to get to a certain end result? Is that end result, is it valid? Is it invalid? We should ask those questions. And at the end of the day, I hope that in South Africa, that we can be as free as possible. And because I have hope, because I have faith first, I'm acting. And because of uh, the actions that I'm taking and thousands of other people are taking, we are already becoming more free. And as this critical mass grows, we get to a point where we literally become the mainstream thought. Because at the moment, mainstream thought or perceived mainstream thought is put out in the mainstream media. And you will see many governments around the world and many mainstream media houses saying, you must listen and trust the reliable sources, meaning themselves. When they have been caught out in so many instances, actually serving their own interests. So people need to question this. So if you watch the question everything series and you watch the moments in time series, you'll understand what this channel is about. You can watch the rest of the videos, the in the news series of videos, the freedom initiative videos, and many of the other double days videos that I've put out there. And then you will be able to get a better picture of where I come from. I know if you're new to this channel, it's going to be difficult to actually understand where I come from. I do have sympathy with you. Just understand where I've been, what I've been through, and not just myself, but my wife, my kids, my, our entire family. We've been through a lot in a, a more than a year period now. Uh, and during that period, we managed to experience many things, speak to thousands of people, meet with thousands of people, and this is unique. And what this has given me is a, is a broad understanding of, of the perceptions in society across uh, the racial divide that has been created deliberately, across the financial divide which has been created deliberately, and, and many other things that divide people. And this channel, through freedom, unite people that want the same thing at the end of the day so freedom is a very strong uniting force and you can only do that through love and sometimes you have to be brutal to love people enough to tell them the things that they find uncomfortable that they don't want to hear that that might make make them unsubscribe from this channel or never watch the videos again and that is fine because at the end of the day for us to create a critical mass of people, we need people that are willing to go the extra mile, people that are willing to do that extra research, people that are willing to not follow me or trust what I say, the people that will do the independent research and then use uh, from the, the, the perspective I give what they can to make up their own minds, form their own, own opinions and then we all unite under one plan to create a critical mass of people that become the mainstream thought. And the moment that happens, everything the mainstream media says, or um, the government says, becomes irrelevant because we become the government. And um, that is the, the best form of democracy that you can have. And there are very good plans in place to implement a new system in future where we can elect our leaders directly under a new constitution and a new bill of rights. We have to make changes to the Bill of Rights and the Constitution to have some semblance of freedom in the near future and then work towards a proper transition where we can become as free as possible. I really want to thank the people that have stuck it out, that have sat through uh, my brutal videos and in my meetings as well, I was brutally honest with people and, you know, I, I can probably count on my one hand the amount of people in the more than 8,000 that would walk out of a meeting because of me being brutally honest. And what we need to focus on now is self-reliance. We've gone into a new phase where explaining self-reliance to people becomes the key focus. And the reason for this is without self-reliance, you will not have choices. And you are going to be, uh, you're going to feel forced when you're not forced, feel forced to do things that you wouldn't normally do. And if you are self-reliant and you are organized, 
and you can unite under, under certain values and principles, then it's possible for you to face the future uh, that is becoming apparent around us. I absolutely hate the concept of conspiracy theories. Uh, there are many conspiracies that happen around the world that are in plain sight for everyone to see. You don't have to theorize about anything like that. You can see it. And it's a conspiracies that are playing out in front of your own nose that you need to focus on. And stop theorizing uh, about things that you can do nothing about. I always tell people, if you cannot do something about uh, news or information you receive, and it doesn't help you to become more free, you have wasted your time on that information. So I want you to try and use that as a tip that if you receive information, you can't do anything about it. It's not going to help you to become more free or become more self-reliant. It was a waste of your time. And I please want to ask people to consider that before you send me links or SMSs or, or something um, in a email format. Because I don't have time. Uh, like I said, I don't have WhatsApp on my phone um, or any other of the other social media platforms. I, I, I don't have time to get to those. I have a lot of things that I'm busy with and I spend most of my time on that are very important to ensure freedom and stability in South Africa. And ensuring stability in South Africa is one way of ensuring that we can be more free as a country. So I hope that you will uh, embark on this process because it is a process to to first uh, gather information if you have not yet especially the information that i share in the question everything and moments in time series and then like i say don't follow me don't believe in me i'm nobody's leader i never will be use the information do your own research and become your own leader we need many leaders in communities across the country in fact, we need a million of you. So I really want to thank you for watching this video and understanding the massive tasks that lie ahead. And I always tell people, if you have a better plan, then um, promote that plan on your own platform. You don't have to waste time on mine um, or comment there because it's irrelevant for you. Uh, create your own platform and promote your plan so that uh, people can follow that plan and you'll soon see if people are willing to follow it or not. And if they are not willing to follow your plan, then it's not a good plan. Because people will generally, not generally, people will always follow uh, the best plan that they are aware of. And in the end, the best plan will always win. Even when people disagree around what they believe is the best plan, that will always happen. But the best plan will always win at the end of the day. So I really have faith and a hope in that for South Africa. And I can see the process already on the go, on the ground. And it's beautiful that even under this captured constitution of ours, that there were people with the insight to build in the fact that we can change that constitution, that we can do it in a very specific way that involves every citizen getting involved. And if you want freedom, you will get involved in that pro process. Thank you very much for all the wonderful emails that I've received. I've spoken to so many of you. There's so many wonderful people in this country. And, um, you know, when I first had faith in the people of the country, I was willing to look at what is out there. And after speaking to so many people, my hope is, is through the roof. I mean, and because of that hope, I was willing to act. And uh, I hope that you will go through the same process, having faith first. If you've lost faith, um, don't even uh, be a part of anyone that watches my videos or comments because um, I can't help you. Um, I'm powerless to help you. But if you are willing to exercise faith, the hope will come and then you will be able to act. Thank you very much. Till the next video.